All right, we're going to go ahead and write an equation uh, to model the scenario. We're going to solve for the equation and we're going to interpret our solution. So we are going to do all things. We write, we solve, we interpret. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. It says the sum of three consecutive odd integers is 33. Find the smallest integer. All right, so let's go ahead and identify some things that are going on in this. So we need to find the sum which means we're going to add the numbers. So we're going to add numbers, okay? And then also we have to think about three consecutive odd integers. So three consecutive, meaning that they're numbers that are in a row. So let's think about this for a second. They need to be odd. They need to be in a row. So I'm going to make a list of them. I'm going to start with maybe five. And the next odd number would be seven. And then the next odd number after that might be nine. And those are consecutive odd numbers. Another set might be 11 and 13 and then 15 and so forth. Now, the one thing they need to do is they need to add to 33. So I look at five, seven, and nine. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to represent the first number, the first number as the variable. So X represents the first odd number. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, okay, well, if X represents the first odd number, let's make a relationship of how these odd numbers work. So if I start with five, what do I do in order to get to seven? Well, what do we do? We added two. So wait a second. The first number is X. The second number, which is seven, we just took X and we added two in order to get to it. So check that out. I'm going to write, well, the second number must be our first number plus two. And then, well, we've got to get to the third number. We need to know what the third number is. So I'm going to say, okay, well, five plus two is seven, plus another two is nine. Well, if I started with X, our first number, and I go all the way there to nine, that's really just adding four. So we could take our first number X, and we could add four to it. Now, those are our three numbers, X, X plus two, and X plus four. But we know that their sum is going to be 33. And that means that they add to 33. So what we're going to do is we're going to make an equation now. We're going to say, well, okay, our first number is x plus, we're going to add the second number, x plus 2, plus we're going to add the third number, which is x plus 4. And when we add all three of those together, we should get a total of 33. Let's make our life a little easier. We're going to collect our like terms so we can make our solution now. So we have x, x, and x. We've got three x's on there that we can combine. Okay. And then what we have is we've got plus two and plus four, which is going to give us a positive six. And that will give us a total of 33. So now let's go ahead and solve this equation. This is a two step equation. We get rid of that positive six with a minus six. Okay, and that gives us 3x. Notice there's nothing under the 3x, so it comes down. 6 minus 6, their inverse is giving us 0. 33 minus 6 is going to be 27. And then we are going to divide by 3. 3 divided by 3, x comes out. We get 27 divided by 3, which is 9. That is going to be our first odd integer, so 9. And let's find our next odd integer, which is x plus 2, which is 9 plus 2, which is 11. And what is our next one? 9 plus 4, which is 13. So x is our first odd integer. And based off of that, we were able to find our other ones, 9, 11, and 13. Now, of course, what we can always do is check our work. And that's always one of the best things to do with this. So I'm going to go ahead and type in, let's, let's type our equation in, 3x plus 6 equals y. That's what we came up with. Or we can write in the longer equation. And I'm going to write in, type in y equals a 33. Once I've got this information, I'm going to zoom in. I'm going to click it. And I'm going to look for that intersection. You'll notice that the intersection says 9. And I'm going to screen snip that in there because this is going to verify that not only algebraically we were able to find 9 and then 11 and 13, but also graphically 
we were also able to do this using technology. So check it out. That's how we do the sum of three consecutive odd integers. This is also how we do the sum of, of even integers. So uh, hopefully that'll help you out when we're talking about odd and even consecutive numbers.